This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this gold paint effect using GIMP. And if you'd like to learn more about how GIMP works, be sure to check out the GIMP series, which is a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the major tools and features in GIMP, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. I'll put a link in the description of the video if you want to check that out. So let's go ahead and get started here in GIMP. The first thing we want to do is open up the gold foil texture image like you see here on my screen. I'll put a link in the description if you want to uh, go ahead and grab a copy of that. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a new layer on top of this and fill it in with black. So I'm going to click this button down here that says create a new layer and add it to the image. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then since by default I have black as my foreground and white as my background color, I'm just going to go to edit, fill with foreground color. And now what I want to do is add some text on top of this. So first, I want to switch around the foreground and the background so that we have white as the foreground. And I want to grab the text tool and I'm just going to click on the canvas here and I'm just going to write gold. The font I'm going to use is called uh, Skywalker, but you can use any, uh, any, any script or um, brush style font you'd like. So let me just go ahead and find my font here and I'll put that in. There we go. And I want to make this a little bit bigger so that it encompasses more of the screen here. So I'm going to make this maybe 550, see how that works. That looks pretty good there. I'm going to grab the Move tool. I'm going to position this on, on the center of the screen right there, or, or the uh, canvas. And then I'm going to right-click on this layer that says Gold right here. And I'm going to go to um, Alpha to Selection right down here. And then I'm going to delete that layer by clicking the X button right here that says Delete this layer. And then we should have the black layer selected by default. And now I'm going to just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that area of the, uh, the layer there. And then I'll go to select none. So as you can see here, we have our black layer with um, some negative space in it where it's revealing the gold foil beneath it. I'm going to click on the gold foil layer. And I, I just want to bring out some of that gold color a little more because it looks a little washed out here. I'm going to go to colors and I'm going to click on levels. And I'm going to take the black point over here, this little arrow, and I'm going to bring that to the right a little bit. And you'll notice on the canvas how the image is changing as I do that. And I'll take the gray point and I'll slide that over to the right a little bit as well, just to bring out some more of that gold color. Uh, I'll go ahead and click OK to finalize that. That's looking pretty good. And the next step now is to grab the Warp Transform tool, which is right over here, or you could press W on your keyboard. And I want to choose a nice solid brush. I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit by holding Control and rolling up the mouse wheel. And over here where I have size, I want to have all of these settings uh, set. I want to have the size set to roughly 70, hardness roughly 75, strength roughly 80, spacing 50, and there you go. And uh, the tool I want selected is Move Pixels. That should be selected by default. And once I've done that, uh, you want to make sure you have the gold foil uh, layer selected. And I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag on the uh, on the image there. And if, you're gonna, if you notice, it's going to it's going to take the image and streak it a little bit. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to add some streaks to this, uh, this gold foil texture here to make it look like the image is streaking in the direction of the brush strokes of the letter. And that's, that's really the secret to making this look well here. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to streak this through there like that. If you notice, there's different like discoloration, like there's a little bit of brown in there as well. The secret to really making this work is finding a way to get those brown streaks going in the direction of the brush strokes like that. So I'm going to move that like that. I'm going to take this and put this up here like this. And I'll take this and bring this down there. And you might want to just take a few minutes just to play around with this, just to get the feel for it and, and to get it looking the way you want it to look. Bring that down there like that. Bring this one down. I'm going to bring this through here. And again, like I mentioned, you really want to get those brown streaks going through there in the direction of the brush. If you notice here, there's like a little bit of a brown streak right here. I'm going to try that get I'm going to try to get that from going up here and then going up there as well as if it were one smooth brush stroke. There we go. Just stretch that out a little bit. There we go. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to take this down here now, continue on with my wording with the rest of the letters here. I'm going to take this streak and try to get that going in the direction of this uh, the letter D here. Move this up further. And to move the page around like you see me doing here, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse like that. And that'll allow you to move the page around. 
bring this down here a little bit. So we finish up the bottom of the D here, and I think we're getting pretty close to being done with this portion. And that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm just going to press 1 on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. It looks like I'm already at 100%, so I'm just going to, roll, I'm going to hold control and roll down to zoom out a little bit. And now that we have that set, what I want to do is click on the, uh, the text layer up top here, and I want to right-click on that and go to Alpha to Selection. And then I want to delete that layer by clicking the X right there. And with this layer selected, I want to first right-click this layer and go to Add Alpha Channel just to make sure we have a transparency layer beneath it. If this is grayed out and you can't click it, that means you already have an Alpha Channel there. You're good to go. Otherwise, if you don't, go ahead and click it. And now I'm just going to press Delete on the keyboard, and it's going to get rid of that area. Now, if I go to Select None, you'll notice we have our gold painted text on a transparent background. But now I'm going to add a background to it just to help... Uh, just to help its appearance a little more. And there's one more effect I want to apply to this. So I'm going to click this button right here to create a new layer and add it to the image. Click OK. Uh, I'm going to add this to a, a very dark gray background because I noticed that it, it tends to just look better on dark gray as opposed to black. So let me flip my colors around right here. And I want to take this color black and I want to change that from all zeros to 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And then go ahead and click OK. And then go to Edit fill with foreground color and if you notice it's not quite black it's a very dark gray and I'm just going to take this layer and click and drag it beneath the gold foil layer and if you notice there we have our gold paint uh, text pretty much finished I mean you could you could end the tutorial right here and you have your gold paint but if you want to add kind of like an oil painting sort of texture to it like you see here in the thumbnail design I'll show you how to do that next so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this gold text layer I'm going to create a duplicate of that layer by clicking the button that says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. And I want to remove the color information, so I'll go to colors, saturation. Let me grab that window and I'll bring this all the way to the left to get rid of the color. Click OK. And now I want to bring out more of the dark areas and bring out more of the white areas as well. I want to increase the contrast in there a little bit. So I'm going to go to colors, curves, and I want to take the black point, which is down here in the bottom, and I want to slide that to the right. And if you're watching what's happening on the canvas while you do this, you'll notice the dark areas are becoming darker, which is what we're going for. Same thing with the white point up here. I'm going to take that and slide that to the left a little bit to bring some more of that out. Maybe I'll just do this a little more like that. Maybe not that much. That right there is about what I'm going for. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now I want to give this a very, very slight blur. So I'm going to go to, I'm going to, go to Filters, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to give this just a one-point blur. I'll hit one, hit enter, go ahead and click OK. And now it has a one-point Gaussian blur. Now I'll go to Filters, Distort, Emboss. And that right there is about what we're looking for. I'm going to leave that at all of its default settings right there. Go ahead and click OK. And now all we have to do is come over here to the Blend Mode, where it says Mode, and change this to Soft Light, which is right there. And there you have it. That gives the uh, the gold paint sort of like a uh, an oil painting sort of texture. So that's that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating creating those gold paint letters using GIMP. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.